Hi, my name is Daniel Leitner. I'm a roboticist at the German Aerospace Center close to Munich in Germany. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was three years old, sleeping in my bed in West Germany, probably dreaming about astronauts or something like that. As a child, I wanted to become a paleontologist, studying dinosaurs. Eventually I became a roboticist, but this brought me to Berlin Science Week already twice before, where I was never missing the chance to visit the Natural History Museum, admiring the Brachiosaurus. So in a sense, my dream came true, thanks to falling walls. My research breaks the wall of universal robot assistance to overcome the challenges of an aging society, climate change, and pandemics. While robots may have reached the therefore required mechanical dexterity, their cognitive capabilities lag behind. They are prone to mistakes, and they have limited capabilities to recover from their errors. Therefore, my research combines emerging telerobotics concepts with artificial intelligence-based reasoning methods for semantic state estimation using physics simulations. This way, an operator can teach new skills to a remote robot, and it can be supervised as it is making mistakes. Back in 2018, we conducted experiments with astronauts aboard the International Space Station. With only a few clicks on a tablet computer like this, these astronauts were able to control our robot Justin in this mock-up environment. While the overall experiments were pretty successful, unfortunately, the robot did not always perform flawlessly. And this is when I realized that we have to send our robots into the wild such that they can learn how to improve from remote demonstration and remote supervision. While space robotics may give us answers about our solar system, my work shall also have impact on the challenges here on Earth. At first, using robotics for elderly care may give caregivers more time for the social aspects of their work. Second, robotics may be of use for sustainable crop cultivation as we explore emerging technologies such as urban farming or vertical farming. And third, viral logic and immunologic investigations will be much more safe, they will be much faster, and they will be much more reliable as we use robotic avatars to fight the next pandemic. Stable data connections and manipulation of unknown objects are some of the technological questions that remain to be answered. However, what keeps me really lying awake at night are the questions about the societal infrastructure. So how can we create new branches of education for telerobotics? How can somebody in need afford a robot for caregiving? And how can we comply with data privacy? In order to answer these questions, we are already talking to stakeholders from education, economy, and politics to pave the way for universal robot assistance.